know we do a lot of aluminum welding. Um, we need something that's going to perform and, and run to get the quality of the welds that we expect here. Um, and like I say, it's always been the ESOB as the welder of choice. We look to purchase um, five or six right off the bat. I don't know that we purchased quite that many. Uh, I think we did four or five right at the very beginning. It was the, the Warrior power source. Um, I can't remember the number of the feeder, um, but we wanted to build in water cooler. And then we really wanted the ST21 welding gun. It's just the most comfortable. Um, it's water cooled, clear to the end. Um, if you're welding aluminum, it's, it's what you want. It's the Cadillac of a welding gun. Compared to the other guns, it's night and day. Um, if I had to personally weld myself with one of the other guns, I would honestly look for a different profession. <laughs> it's that much. You, you hate them that much, and we've tried all of them. It's just it, it makes your day go so much better knowing that when you pick it up, it's going to work. What's the difference? The, the temperature of it, the, the flexibility of it, it just it's that nozzle that threads in, not the slide on, you know, and it, it, the heat is a big part of it. Um, we've had welders sit around here for years with, uh, I don't know if I can say names of the welders, hmm. or the Benzel guns, um, the guys refused to use them. We were, the old plant manager was sending people home because they refused to use them. If you had to use it, it, it just it make your day <laughs> that bad. You would, we tried making sleeves, um, just the type of welding we do, your, your hand would be literally fried in moments trying to do what we do. Right, and we don't want them to stop. You know, when you start that weld, we want it to look good from top to bottom. I don't, I don't want to have them start and stop in the middle of a weld. I don't know if the camera's on or not, but we wanted that ST21 gun and you guys made it happen. Well, voice of the customer is important to Colfax. When we first sold the Warriors and brought them in here, um, they wanted the ST21, which the, the, the Warrior had a EuroConnect on it. The ST21 will not fit on a EuroConnect. So we went to another company, a non ESOP company, that makes a knockoff ST21 gun. And they've been very successful with what they've done. It's a good, decent gun, but it's not the ST21. Uh, brought it in here, and the welders didn't like it because it was stiff. Um, the welders were actually getting shocked. They were getting zapped. Um, it, and it was a problem that was feeding back to the warrior. The welders were relating that to the warrior, not the gun. So we went back to Dave Perkins and Aesop, and, and we told him what, what the customer was telling us. This is voice of the customer, which is important to Colfax. And we need to put an ST21 on the warrior. And Dave Perkins made it happen. And really, the rest is history. That's, that's what they've used ever since. And I've sold hundreds of them since then.